I would find. Uh, thank you very much no, for uh, ideas, example. ideas, okay. Before we go to the field, we have to look at ourselves. What is our track record? You see, people will look at your track record, analyze who you are, what you have been doing with all the inter and communication, easy communication, people read about the birthplace of every individual coming to themselves. It's a track record of the organization. It's very, very important and could be challenging. Number two, the perception. If you are hardliner, radical, humanitarian organization, proselytizing or Islamizing or whatever it is, and you come to a conflict between this group and this group, people actually will look with, with actually the perception on you, particularly things that have been written about you in the media. It is very, very important to know who I am first before I go to this conflict area. The third point is our knowledge of the area. In Darfur, very classical and beautiful example. Beautiful example. Media came out to say it's a conflict between Muslims and Christians. Ha! It's a big ha and who and hi and bye. There was no Christian in this area. I'm not just trying to, because there's Catholic and everywhere. Right? That's true. I'm surrounded by them. <laughs> Uh, but actually, to make this big, huge mistake, that means that our knowledge, our basic knowledge, is not on the table. In 2006 in Lebanon, Sidon is uh, between Shia, mostly Shia and Sunni uh, uh, in the south. And they were actually sending bacon, uh, cans of bacon to be distributed, actually, some of the organizations. The knowledge, the local, the knowledge of the people who are living and their culture, their values, is extremely important. Number four is synthesizing and educating our staff who are going to go to this area. Okay, the way they speak, the way they behave, the way they dress, and the way they communicate with the local community. Because people, I remember one of the scholars said that when you stand on a stage, people do not uh, 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 listen to you. Uh, They don't listen to you by, by, by their ears. They listen to you by their eyes. They see every action and you as a representative. So they observe you very closely. Our image when we go to this area, how do we look? Because we are coming from a very rich organization, but the money that we have is their money, not our money or our organization money. We have to make the balance between the way we look to this organization. Uh, Isolation of the INGO family, this quarter, and you find that they are living, I'm, I'm talking about INGO, in, a, in an area which uh, totally separated, and, uh, and if you go to Nairobi, as a classical example, the, the, the compounds, and all these sort of things, gave a very, very negative perception to the local community, whether it's in Nairobi, or it's in Kismayu, and this is uh, with, with all these kind of groups that actually those people uh, uh, are spending our money on something. Uh, this was actually the argument of the Sudanese government after the Four uh, case. Uh, solution, I have to believe the solution is local. Those people in the area are very talented, innovative, sensible, and they can do the job we do in a very, very low cost price. So we need to look at them as part. Because I don't want to talk about trust, because we mentioned about uh, uh, all the things which actually been mentioned by you. But actually, the most important thing as well, I'm going to make it last, because I want to make you happy. I'm always making you happy. <laughs> Recognizing the system that we are all going to operate in. Recognizing the local system whether it's a tribal or sheikh system or the, the, the setup in the local community, you have to recognize it and respect it. So this kind of things to complement to what my colleagues has been mentioned because I have to stick to the three or the four minutes. Thank you. Shukran.